hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today's video is another hair remedy video. i'm gonna be showing you guys four different ways you can use glove a lot of people are telling me of telling me that they've been using glove on their hair and they have seen results in this video i'm gonna be sharing with you guys why you're not seeing results and the things you're doing wrong and different way you can use glove to achieve an amazing result glove has helped my hair a lot when it comes to shedding it has helped my hair to reduce shedding breakage and also help the length of my hair glove contains a lot of nutrients sometimes it's not enough that you're using a treatment sometimes what matters and the reason why you're not getting results is how you are using it so guys let's get started our first ingredient is glove glove is very rich in beta carotene which help to provide abundant long lasting moisture and also it also help to stimulate the blood flow on your scalp which in turn stimulates hair growth glove is one ingredient that i know that serves so many purposes it also helps to control hair fall hair thinning and also avoid premature hair graying so guys this particular way to use a glove is using glove as your conditioner in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to incorporate glove into other ingredients to moisturize and condition your hair to take your hair from that dry freezing looking hair to this fluffy soft hair first of all is that there are different ways you can use glove in this video i'm going to be incorporating clove with another ingredient called flaxseed so all i have to do is just boil my clove for about five minutes and i went ahead and adding two spoon of flax seed so at this point you're just going to have to boil it for about 10 minutes and it's going to give you this uh, kind of slippery kind of consistency then you go ahead and strain it out that is what you're going to use as your conditioner you can use this as a conditioner or as a moisturizer or even as a detangler. A lot of you guys are reaching out to me testifying about what, uh, how much growth you have seen and how this part using clove has helped you reduce shedding. In this particular video, I'll be showing you guys four ways you can use glove. And the first way you can use glove is using glove as your living conditioner. You guys can see how dry and freezing my hair looks. And I'm going to go ahead and use this glove and flaxseed will help condition and bring back moisture into your hair first of all you guys can see how tangled my hair is you need to learn how to use this clove you can't just be using clove as spray and you will say you'll be you are using clove you need to learn how to incorporate clove into your different hair treatment like into your oil into your butter into your spray with using this consistently that is when you see result after watching this video, you're going to learn a lot of versatile way you can use glove. It's either you use it as hair butter, hair detangler, as you guys can see, hair oil or hair spray. For more detail about uh, this particular video, each of these videos has a full video which I have uploaded on my channel before. So I'm going to be linking all the uh, link to each of these videos so you can go watch the full video. So I started to put uh, the most popular way I have used a uh, glove. I started to combine all the videos for this particular video. I've used it in form of butter, in form of hairspray, in form of conditioner, just in case you guys do not get to watch the video. When people say they don't, they've used glove and they don't see results, the first thing that comes to my mind is either they are using it wrongly or they are not using enough glove or they are not incorporating it into their regimen. You can't be using glove once in one month and you complain that it doesn't work for you. Glove is something that I have gotten a lot of dm on instagram people telling me that it has helped them stop breakage and also help them stop uh, any form of scalp condition they have using glove in a different way will give you different reason first of all is that you can use glove for your scalp and expect it to uh, work on your hair strand you have to apply it to your hair strand for it to work for example ways you can apply a uh, glove to your hair strand is using it as conditioner like i showed you guys or using it as butter or even applying it on your scalp as oil but applying it on your scalp directly is just going to give you the job on the scalp it's going it's just going to deliver the job on your scalp but if you apply it on your hair strand you're going to see it work on your hair strand so in this particular one is me using clove as hair butter so after i bring my clove like you guys saw earlier what i did was just blend my clove and pour it into my melted hair butters this uh butter that you see is cocoa butter uh, i think shea butter and 
avocado butter is what is inside of here all i had all i just did was just i did the double or uh, boiling method and i went ahead and pour in my clove and let it heat up for about 20 minutes after that all the ingredients from the clove will infuse into the butter then i will go ahead and strain it out after straining it out i'll just put it in my fridge for it to solidify so i can go ahead and whip it as my hair butter in this case you use this hair butter on your hair strand i personally i don't like applying butter to my scalp because i end up with a lot of residue so what i do is i apply butter to my hair strand hair butter is one of one thing that you can't even skip away if you want to have healthy hair it helps you to retain moisture it helps to bring back moisture to your hair and it also helps to trap in moisture into your hair hair butter is one of my favorite hair products when it comes to natural hair when you have low porosity hair like mine you easily lose moisture you want to make sure that you're sealing your moisture using things like butter oil or grease so what i go for mostly is hair butter i use it to seal in my moisture doing this i don't get a lot of breakage or a lot of hair shedding so like i said earlier you can some some people don't like applying butter to your to their scalp just like me so i prefer to apply it on my hair strand it just helps to moisturize my hair and keep my hair moisturized all through the day so another way you can use clove is using it as hair butter just in case you don't want to use that spray or you don't have time where you use clove as spray you can also infuse it into your butter Another way to use clove is using it as hairspray. This is a particular one that I have explored. I have done so many, more than five hairspray using clove. And let me tell you guys, every single spray is not the same because they contain different ingredients. This particular one I used, I used peppermint leaf or lavender bud and I also used clove to uh, do this particular hairspray. So like I mentioned earlier, it's not enough that you're using clove for your hair. It depends on how you're using it and how frequent you're using it. If you want to use any treatment and see results, the first thing you need to know is consistency. The more you are consistent, the more result, the quicker you get your result. But if you use clove maybe once in two weeks, once in one month, you can't get the same result compared to someone that uses clove more frequently, maybe three to four times in a week. So for me, even the weeks where I am not using clove spray, I'm definitely using clove oil. If I'm not using clove oil, I'm definitely using the butter or I'm using the conditioner. All I know is that for me to see results, I am incorporating clove into my regimen in one way or the other. If you don't have the time to make clove or clove hair spray all the time, maybe you have 9 to 5 job, you don't have the time to make this, all you can just do is just make it into butter, just like I've showed you guys earlier. Hair butter is something that can stay in your house for up to three months if you add preservative to it, it can even stay for one year so you don't get to make this all the time so you don't have reasons for not applying clove to your hair now you have butter that has a uh, clove in it it's also going to serve and give you the same treatment so in this particular treatment i'm using it as my hairspray to hydrate my hair for you to have healthy hair number one thing you need to know is hydration it's very very important you can't comb your hair when this or uh, dry you can't manipulate your natural hair when this dry so the best thing you want to do for your step is hydrate your hair after you hydrate you can uh, apply your conditioner and seal it in using maybe your butter or your grease so another third way i'm showing you guys to use clove is using it as hairspray hairspray is one thing that i always have in my house because every at least two two days or three three days depending if i'm wearing my hair out i love to moisturize my hair but before i go on and moisturize my hair i will want to hydrate it which is very important and for you to hydrate your hair you need liquid like spray to hydrate your hair. in fact water so infusing your clove into your water to hydrate your hair is going to be the best option. So the next uh, way I'm going to be showing you guys to use a uh, clove is using it as scalp massager. Here I'm incorporating it with a uh, sweet orange. So the first thing I do was just uh, scrape out the back of the orange because that's what I'm going to be needing for this video. So all I did is just scrape out the back of this sweet orange after that i get my clove in this particular treatment i also go ahead and incorporate this clove with these or uh, the back of the sweet orange i'm going to go ahead and infuse them into oil and use the double boiling method to heat it up so here i'm using my coconut oil 
coconut oil is amazing for the scalp so that's what i'm going to be using but you're free to use any oil of your choice you can use uh sunflower oil you can use olive oil avocado oil just use any oil that work for you so at this point i'll go ahead and add in some of this oil into this clove and sweet orange then i'll go ahead and heat them up the essence of heating this ingredient is to infuse the content the or nutrients from those ingredients into the oil so so because this is double boiling method i am going to give it some time to heat up so i'm going to be heating it up for about 10 to 15 minutes then i'll go ahead and strain out all the oil this was going to be looking like then this is our scalp massager which you can also use as hair oil this good this is one oil i made and I since i made this oil i have never stopped making it anytime i finish the one i made i'll go ahead and make another one the potency in this oil is on the very high side so all i did is just apply this oil to my scalp and i'll go ahead and massage it into my scalp like i always say healthy scalp produce healthy hair you want to make sure your scalp is healthy for you to grow healthier hair so guys these are four ways you can use clove from now you don't have excuse why you're not using clove if you don't have a lot of time to make this or uh, treatment all the time all you have to do is just make them into product that last longer like making them into oil or butter so you don't have to wait till you make spray or you make butter or you make oil before you are you're using clove making them into diverse or uh, treatment will help you use them so even if when you're using glove spray you're using glove butter when you're using glove butter you're using glove oil or glove conditioner in one way or the other you're using clove so that's what i thought to share with you guys here on this channel so here on my channel i share everything regarding healthy hair if that look like the kind of thing you like to watch please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys